Good morning. Today I am out here in the pasture getting ready to milk one of my Jersey cows, Mary. I don't see her yet, but she'll come. I'm gonna stand up here and talk to you guys for just a minute. She'll hear my voice. She'll come. I see Mary now. See? <laughs> there she is. She heard me. I am actually halter training Mary. None of my cows are halter broke, but um, I figured you know, why not start weaning, halter training in the same time? Probably not a good idea. She is responding really well. I haven't even had to get out a halter. I've just been using my lead rope and putting that around her neck and just with a tiny little tug, she comes right after me. So watch her, of course, like not do it this time since I want to get it on video, but I'll try to show you guys. I cannot believe how easy this has been. She is just doing so well. You'll notice that when I um, get her through the head gate. I tie the rope up high. That is because you want to train your milk cow to keep their head up high. If their head's low, then they're more likely to kick. But when it's high, then um, they'll stay pretty still for you. I've got my gallon of milk here back in the house. I am going to do some dishes really quick and clean my stove top because I've got a long day of using my stove ahead of me. I, I, I have to can some things. And what I'm going to be making with this milk is, well, a few things. The first thing I'm going to make is custard. Custard is one of our favorites. It is so delicious and it's a great way to use lots of fresh milk and eggs. And then after I make that custard, I'm gonna make a big batch. So I will then use some of that to make coconut cream pie, which is another one of my favorites. And that pie will have a sourdough discard, somewhere under there, sourdough discard pie crust. So I'm gonna be showing you guys all of that. So let me do some quick, ooh, yuck, quick tidying up here in the kitchen and then we will start cooking. Kitchen is tidied up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and eat lunch and then I will get on to cooking. We're having leftovers for lunch. I feel like every time I make a video, we're always having leftovers from lunch, but I do this a lot because, I don't know, it's just easy to make double of whatever ha we're having the night before and then I have a quick and easy hot lunch ready for the next day. So while I get our lunch heated up, then you can kind of see, maybe you can see out there. Can you see little children out there? kids hanging clothes on the line. That is one job that I have them do a lot. It's good for them to team up. They can work in a pair. And then the third one is usually on baby duty. And that is the most popular chore of all. The kids always want to be the one to watch the baby. I still baby wear a lot, um, but he's kind of, Ernie is, let's see how old, he's almost eight months. So he's kind of at the age where he wants to be down on the floor a lot, crawling around, playing with the big kids. So the kids just all have a playoff game of rock, paper, scissors to see who would be the one to get to play with the baby in the living room and Hank won. So the big kids are outside putting clothes on the line. Like I said, I'm heating lunch up and then I'll get back to the task of the day, which is doing something with all of my fresh milk. This milk I did bring in straight from the cow. So I do need to strain it through some cheesecloth first just to catch any little pieces of dirt or hair or whatever, so I'm gonna do that before we get started. But this milk's still warm, so it actually won't take long to heat up and make into custard. Let me bring you guys a little bit closer, I'll show you. Here, I'm just gonna pour this through a cheesecloth into my bowl before putting it on the stove. Okay, I've got my recipe linked up here for you guys if you want to screenshot. And as always, I'll link the blog post in the description too for both of the recipes that I am going to be showing you today. All right, I'm gonna start with my sugar and sugar, flour and salt. Add that to my Dutch oven here. And this recipe is very forgiving. It doesn't have to be super precise. If you notice, I'm using a lot more ingredients than my recipe called for. That is because this is a quadruple batch. Now I am just cracking my eggs. I'm gonna save the egg whites and just add my egg yolks to my milk. 
I will whisk that together really well before pouring it into my Dutch oven with the dry ingredients. One reason I love making custard is because it uses a lot of eggs and milk and I always have lots of both. It's really important to whisk the whole time that you're pouring in your milk and eggs because you do not want chunks of flour in your custard. Starting to thicken up here, but it's definitely still not ready. But it needs to come to a boil. So right now when it's really thickening up, I need to be whisking the whole time because that, that film on the bottom, like it'll scorch on the bottom really easily. Now I am just gonna set my timer for one minute and let this boil. Then I will turn the heat off and transfer it out of this hot Dutch oven. I'm just adding in some butter, but however much you want, you can add in. Then, I don't know how much vanilla I have in here, but I would probably do about a, a teaspoon per batch. So I have four batches here. Let's see if I can get four teaspoons out of here. Probably not, so I'm just going to use everything that I have and whisk this all in. All right, first I'm going to put most of my custard in this big bowl here. Here we go. That looks about right. I made a mess there. And then the rest of it I'm going to separate put in this smaller bowl. Cover it right away and refrigerate it to cool and set up. When you remove it from heat and pour it into a bowl, you can pour it through a fine mesh strainer like this and that way you catch any little clumps or lumps and you'll have like a really, really smooth consistency. I'm honestly just not that worried about it. It tastes the same either way to me. So all I have to do now is add my coconut and I'll come back later and show you guys how I make my pie. I am going to go ahead and make my pie crust now. This sourdough discard pie crust is my favorite to make. I make it all the time. It's a great way to use up lots of discard and it is very flaky and delicious. If you have made pie crust from scratch before, then all the same basic rules apply. You want everything to be really cold as you're working, your butter, everything to be really cold, and you wanna work quickly so that your crust, your dough doesn't get all you know greasy. So don't knead it like bread, just get it to come together. This makes two nine inch pie crusts, by the way. I have all the details linked to my blog if you want like the step by step. And I will link that in the description below. All right, my pie dough is chilled and it is ready to prepare for blind baking. So in my coconut cream pie, I fully blind bake my crust and then the rest of it is a no-bake pie. So it's pretty simple. And this um, sourdough discard pie crust is a really, really great one, whether you are just making a traditional pie, whether it's sweet or savory, but it works really good for blind baking as well. Now, a lot of people use aluminum foil for blind baking, but I like to avoid using it when I can, so I just use parchment paper. A little trick for you guys, when you want your parchment paper to fit the shape of anything, just roll it up into a ball, and then when you unroll it, it will be a lot easier to shape into whatever you are lining. It's really important to use some kind of pie weight when you are blind baking so that your pie crust doesn't fall down into your dish and lose its shape. You can use sugar, rice, or like I'm using here, dry beans. I've used the same beans for blind baking for years now. 
got my pie crust here. It is baked and blind baked and cooled. So I'm going to add my custard coconut cream custard filling in here and then let that set up before I top it with homemade whipped cream and toasted coconuts. And that will be it for my coconut cream pie. Meanwhile, the big bowl of custard that I have in the fridge is set up really nicely. I actually just checked on it and the kids are getting ready to come in from doing chores. It's, it's getting ready to pour down raining. It's really dark in here because it's really dark and cloudy outside. So kids are getting ready to come in and I know they're gonna want some custard. So I'll show you guys what that looks like now that it has set up. But for now, I'm gonna prepare my pie. There you have it. Fresh custard made from raw milk, topped with a little bit of cinnamon. It's really good topped with a little bit of cinnamon or nutmeg. The kids love eating custard. It is one of their favorite treats. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them eat their snack here and then I will get back to assembling my pie. Now, you could use the egg whites that you saved from when you made the custard to make a meringue topping. That would make a lot of sense, but I really, really like a whipped cream topping on my coconut cream pie, especially when it's made from my raw cream. I, and I use a whole quart. I'm just skimming it straight from the top of my gallon of milk here. Uh, making whipped cream in a food processor is definitely the easy, easiest way to go. It's really, really quick and um, it contains the mess, so I am a fan. Now I am almost finished. All I have to do is assemble my pie. So I'm just going to spoon all of this whipped cream over top and then toast some coconut top it with that and I will be finished. I know a lot of people toast coconut in the oven, but I found it to be a lot faster to just do it on the stove top. It just takes a minute and you don't have to heat up your whole oven. We are actually into the next day. Last night, my husband's uncle came over and we all enjoyed the coconut cream pie or coconut custard pie, whatever you wanna call it, and it was fabulous, but I forgot to take pictures of it all sliced up and looking pretty, so I had some left over. Cut myself a very big piece to enjoy here after lunch. And there you have it, guys. Fresh coconut cream or coconut custard pie with sourdough discard crust. It's very good. I am always cooking and baking and doing all sorts of things here around our homestead in the garden with the kids talking about motherhood, homesteading, life on our farm. So be sure to click subscribe because I make new videos every week. All right. Well, have a good week, guys. I will see you next time.